Hey guys, Clearbox Swimmers here. So this is going to be basically uh, part two of the last video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, this is going to be a beta unboxing video and just a checkup on the tank and how they're doing. Um, I've actually had them for like a month and a half now. So yeah, let's get started. Got some fish, I'm kind of excited. Got some, got two betas from Prism Betas. Um, I've gotten betas from these guys before. They're really cool, healthy. Fortunately, those ones did pass away, but that was not their fault at all. Um, but that's a different story. I'll tell it at a different time. But, um, but yeah, they were healthy. They looked really nice. These ones should look nice. Um, we'll see. We'll see what they look like. Some insulation. Got these shipped overnight. Um, I live in southern Wisconsin and it was about 40s, 50s, so not too cold out for this time of year. So I'm not very wor worried about them being too cold. Let's see if there's a heat pack in there or anything that feels, feels warm in here. I'll take them out first and then uh, show them. See, so, yep. there is a heat pack in the bottom, so that's why it is warm in here. That's always good. I figured they would ship them really nice. I, last time I bought from here, I bought them straight from them. Uh, no, sh no shipping. But they have some real nice stuff, so I didn't think they would uh, do bad on the shipping part of it. Alright, so. Got this mail. It's kind of hard to see. Might just have to show you when I take them out. Let me see. Get all this dust off my hand. Let me see. Yeah, it's gonna be a little too too hard to see them like this. And I also got a female, but we'll just, uh, I'll just cut two when I take them out. Be a lot easier to see. All right, we'll cut to that. Here's the male, the yellow marble half moon pocot. Looking good. There is his gill plate on that left side. Looks like it's a little opened up right now. I don't know if it's from stress. Maybe he got a little injured on the way here. So I'll just have to keep an eye out for that. You can see it right there. Well, he looks good otherwise. 
Here's the female. She's a pink koi half moon pocot. They're still a little stressed too because they just got out of the bag, so we'll color up a little bit more. Here's that male again. Alright, I'm going to give these guys a little more water and uh. Or actually, I'll just tip it so the water's a little deeper for them. While I get the water parameters right for them and put them in their tanks. So this one, put it in here. Let the water match it a little bit. Flip that over so it can't jump out. Same thing for this guy. Here's the female. She's looking really cool. Um, has like a pinkish purple still. Really friendly. Here's the male. You can see his colors changed quite a bit. He has less yellow now. More blue, but he still looks really cool. But with these marbles, that's what I kind of knew that would happen. Um, all betas, but especially these marbles, they'll change their color quite a bit from when you first get them to now. It's about a month I've had them in here now. Tank's doing pretty good. Some of the plants melted quite a bit. There's some tannins in there. It's because I got uh, these leaves. Catapa leaves and coconut petals in there. But I like the tank. Reminds me kind of like a zoo. Something you'd see in a zoo maybe. Now what's funny is, when I first put him in here, the male found a spot to get on her side. There was a spot in the back where there was just a little crack where he got through. So I had to fill that in with a sponge. Now that's been good. Um, but now if I take the top off, I have a glass top on it. If I take that off, if I have it off too long, she'll jump into his side, which is funny. But nothing really happens. They don't really attack each other or anything. Um, so, I mean, maybe that's a good sign for breeding. Because I will try to breed these, too. Um, but when I first put him in, he was flashing a lot at her through this divider. They can see each other a little bit. Not, it's hard to see, but you can. they can see through it, but it's not like... Um, the visibility is not great. But they can tell there's another fish on the other side. See, I put a few shrimp in here as well. Just a few to see how they do. There is a lot of spots for them to hide, so hopefully they can do pretty well. This is a Caridina um, uh, tangerine tiger shrimp. I, I really like her. She's really pretty. Yeah, it's funny. Now she'll jump on his side if you take that top off for too long.
I don't have any names for these guys. I don't know if I'll name them or not, but see, I do like them quite a bit. Really friendly. I enjoy watching them, feeding them. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching.